So for today's lecture, we were asked to do some self-review exercises at a lab task. Uh, so for the self-review exercises, there are four, there's four questions. Question one, is a subclass a subset of a superclass? No, it's not, because the subclass inherits from superclass. That means it extends from it. So it has the entirety of the superclass inside of it and more, which makes the superclass actually being the subset of subclass. Uh, can we inherit a superclass's constructor? Uh, no, we can't, at least not in Java. We can call it through the super keyword. Uh, and I believe the reason why is because, first of all, the constructor is usually the class's name. So that might cause some compilation errors. And secondly, because constructors exposes the private information or data. So if we remember the concept of encapsulation, we want to protect some data from outside, uh, make it not visible. So if we inherit the constructor, we can't achieve encapsulation anymore. Uh, for question three, explain the concept of overriding. Uh, overriding is when we have a feature or a function inside of the class that we want to behave differently in the subclass compared to the parent or superclass. So if you remember back, we've used this in JavaFX. So in there, we overrode the application's default start behavior and we changed the title name, the window size, etc. And this is also why we don't actually need a main method when using JavaFX. Uh, and for question four, when to use inheritance and when to use composition. So inheritance is when you inherit something and composition is literally making up something. Uh, let's use an example to clarify this better. Uh, in chess, we have the game chess and we have the components, the chessboard, the player, and the chess pieces. So the chessboard doesn't inherit any properties from the chess game. And the chess game is made out of chessboard, chess pieces, and the players. So that's why this is an example of a composition. Uh, for inheritance, let's take a person, for example. A person is a superclass, and we can have them as an office worker. So an office worker extends from person, meaning that the office worker inherits the default attributes from person, such as their name, their age, maybe their address. But also, we add on some office worker specific attributes, such as their workplace, their employer, their salary, or even their roles and responsibilities. So as you can see, one takes from the other and another one makes up each other. So for the lab task, we were asked to do this. Uh, so the question here is, is the new arrow a composition or an inheritance? Personally, I think it's an inheritance because you have to start off with a basic arrow, then you can make up the tail. But you can also argue that the basic arrow can be a component of the special arrow, meaning that you have the arrow and you have the tail, and then the two make up a special arrow. But in my opinion, this will not work because the arrow should have a starting point and ending point. If you attach a tail to the end of the starting point and the ending point, it will artificially increase the length. Or you can just reduce the length of the arrow, shorten it a bit, and then add the remaining length as a tail. But again, this seems a bit inefficient. And you need to remember that an arrow can exist by itself, but the special arrow cannot have the tail existing on its own only. So this is more evidence that we should be using inheritance rather than composition. I have here open lucid charts. 
and we're supposed to be drawing a class diagram. So let's go look for a class diagram. Ding. Drag it in. And the name of the class will be arrow. Classes should be capitalized. And then for the attributes, we know we need a starting position. So the tips coordinate or the tails coordinate. Let's start with the tail. Tail coordinates. And the type will be a Euclidean coordinate. So that's a double double. Uh, or for in Java, let's use a double array size 2 or even point. We also had the tip coordinate. Same thing. An array of a double size 2 or point. And we can also have an integer called arrow head size. This is to determine how big the arrowhead will be. So for the methods, we will be, of course, needing to draw the arrow. Next, we need to create a new class that inherits from arrow. So we extend arrow. Oops, wrong way around. And this will be called special arrow. So it will inherit the basic attributes. But now we will be needing a new attribute called air tail type. And this can be an enum or a list or even again an, just a string. And the method will be append tail. And that's it. Oh, and you also need to change the arrow head type to be the extents.